Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. What we're doing today, I did a split. I did, uh, I think this one has two frames. Some of them I did one, some I did two. It just depended on the size of the frame that I pulled out. If it had a lot of bees and a lot of capped brood, I did one. But this one, I believe it's it's got two because it's got a it's got a honey frame here and a frame to cap brood. So what I'm doing, I'm installing a queen. And I know there's a lot of times I show direct release of the queen. And just to explain that to everybody why I do that, it's not the norm. I don't do that. The, the normal way that I install a queen is always with the cage and pulling the cork off the candy end. The reason I do that on the videos is to educate people so they can see from a, a, a video how those bees react to that installed queen. Their reaction as far as accepting it and their reaction as far as rejecting it. Well, look, I'm sorry if that butt hurt a few people and that's exactly what it did because some people just completely got really tore up that I put a queen through that much stress. But look, in my opinion, if, if you're that butthurt about a queen, you don't need to be in the beekeeping because there's, there's gonna come times where you gotta pinch queens. And honestly, if, if you really are that to that point where something like that, because I, I let no harm whatsoever come to that queen. When they ball a queen, it's not fast. It's not like a sting sting, it's over with they will ball the, those queens up for, it could be hours before they'll kill that queen. So for what couple minutes I had her in there did not harm that queen a bit. I ended the video, I got her out, put her in a cage and she was fine. Introduced her into another colony, finally found a colony that did accept her. So I just want to explain that, but the, but the people that, that get tore up about that, Look, uh, it, I do this for educational purposes. And if it'll save queens on a hundred other people's colonies, because when they, when they introduce queen and they see how they're acting, or they open their, their, their hive up after the queen's been released from the cage and they notice that there's a ball of bees in the bottom of the, of the hive, that they can get out and save it, this is the reason I do this. But anyway, now that I said all that, uh, I'm going to install a queen the normal way, just like you normally do, just so people get an idea of how we do that. If you've never seen that, because I've not done that in a while, I've not showed people in a while how we do that, because all you've seen me do is really direct release. But here's your queen in the cage right here. Now what you do, for, for new beekeepers, people that, that don't know, you got a candy in here, and it has a cork on that side. you got a what they call direct release here in a cork on that side. You open this cork, she can come out immediately. You open this cork, it's like a time release capsule that your doctor prescribes you. It, it takes a while for it to dissolve. It's kind of like the same thing, except it takes the bees two to three days, four days. It depends on the size of the colony. If it's a real strong colony, they'll have her out probably within a day or two. If it's a, if it's a split like this, you better go back in about three days and check because they'll probably only be about halfway through it because there's not enough bees in there to keep that eat to keep them busy eating that candy out to get to the queen. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this cork and I'm going to show you how I put it in the colony. The bees are a little bit agitated. I've not taken any stings yet, but I can tell they're not too happy. Uh, always use a smoker. I don't have a smoker today. Uh, Sometimes I'm willing to take a few stings in order to save time, but I don't recommend it to people that's not been beekeeping very long. Use a smoker, it always keeps your bees so calm when you do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold this camera one hand. This is this is how I do it. This is I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is how I do it. The only thing I, I do, you got a frame here. It's a starter strip frame. It's actually it was an old frame that I just cut the wax out of. You can already see the bees hanging on it. They're already drawing that out that fast from yesterday. And this is a decent size split here. So what I do, I just simply lay the queen <clears throat> right there on the frame, just like that. And I put her right in the center of the colony. Now, as far as 
anytime that I've set this down in a hive and not knocked it off and it stayed in place, it's always stayed in place until they release her. Uh, usually within a couple hours, they'll propolize the cage to the bottom and it won't move. I used to put a zip tie on them, but it's, it's not necessary. And uh, I've not had any trouble with, uh, with uh, the queen being chilled because putting it on the bottom. Some people insist you gotta put it in the middle in between two frames, that's fine. If that works for you, then, then do it. But for me, this has always worked for me. And you can see pretty, pretty immediately down there at the bottom that they're showing attention to that cage already. Already. Which is always a good sign. Means she's got some good strong pheromones. Now I'm gonna put this other frame here. So basically what we got here, this was a honey frame. This was a, a starter strip frame. And then this was the, the frame of brood. And then I put the the two starter strips on each side of it. You always, you wanna stagger them. You always wanna make sure you stagger them. Because if you don't, they'll draw those two frames together. Just like that. Now, okay, that's done. They didn't get too, I mean, they was angry, but they wasn't, I mean, you can see how, I'll just show you here. See how, see how, how flighty they are. For one thing, they're queenless or was queenless. So that, that's part of their reaction of being a little bit flighty like this. But usually when they're, when they're real gentle, they won't be that flighty and bumping into you. These, none of these have stuck me yet, but they have bumped and warned me and you can tell it's a sign of aggression, but they're not committing to the sting yet. So it just it just depends. You know, that's just how bees are. You don't know. See how fast they're moving here? See how fast? Watch them. I'll probably get some negative feedback by doing this. See how they're doing? One did get me right there. Right there on the tip of the finger. It's when I when I show stuff like it, it just educate people so they'll see it. I know people get a little bit offended when I do stuff, but look, I'm gonna keep on doing it because if I I think it teaches people and shows them what not to do or how to treat a colony or how to install a queen or how the queens act, and people are learning from it, I'm gonna keep doing it. So there we go. So. We'll put it back on, just like that. I make sure, you know, everybody's got different ways of marking their colony that's got a queen that needs released. So this is one that needs released. So uh, any of them that's sticking up like that, I'll know to come back in about three days and release her. So that's about it, folks. Uh, that's how I install a queen. The normal way, not a direct release. I want to. I want to make sure that was a. I wanted to show so people would uh, would see it and and learn from it. So that's about it. Uh, don't forget, folks. Click on the little bell. Please help share our videos. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Barnard Bees.